Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the new armor sets and how to get the Argas as well as the Sheza versions a little bit earlier. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, of course, the new armors. So we will get an Arga variant, a Belta variant, as well as a Sheza variant. However, on the very first week, so right after maintenance ends, you will only be able to obtain the Belta version. And the reason for this is because during the first week, we will get a new high rank sector or rank 4 for Retem El Noth, as well as Makid lower levels. However, for Kavaris, we will have to wait until the second week before we get the rank 3 version of Lost Central, as well as the rank 3 version of Belugana Runes. And then only on the third week will we finally get the rank 3 version of Rezal Forest, as well as the rank 4 versions of Vanford Laboratory Runes and rank 4 of Mount Magnus. And the way they've set the drop rate is Belta variants of the new armors will only drop in Ritem, while Sheza will only drop in Kavaris, and Argos will only drop in Alio. So let's say that you play a Braver like myself and you use both the Katana and the Bow. So you want the Arga variant of the armor simply because the Arga variant gives you melee damage as well as range damage, which is perfect for a hybrid Braver. So does this mean we need to wait for three weeks before the Alio high rank versions are released before we can farm for the Arga variant? Not necessarily. There is a way to farm for all three armor variants the moment you hit level 65. And that is of course, through the common purple triggers. So on the first week, other than the high rank combat zones, we will also be getting the rank 3 version of Ritem Devastators, where all the Gigantics are going to be level 69. And it just so happens that Gigantics drop all the different armor variants. So if you're like me and you're looking for the Arga variant or even the Sheza variant, well, you're in luck because you can be spamming those purple triggers over and over and over, and you don't even need to clear the entire thing because you still get loot as long as you kill a couple of those Gigantics. And because of that, you can see over here that I've been saving up my common purple triggers. I have 202 of them, and I'm going to farm even more of these common purple triggers, especially on PSO 2 day, because we get that 50% extra rear drop rate. By the way, PSO 2 day is tomorrow, so you want to make sure that you break all of your randomites tomorrow once the PSO 2 buffs kick in. But just understand that the common purple triggers are going to inflate in price dramatically. If we look at the prices right now on chip 2, they're going for about 10,000. I would not be surprised if the price of these common triggers go up to 20,000, 30,000, maybe even 50,000, simply because people are going to be very impatient and are going to want their new armors now. And so farming purple triggers is going to be a very profitable way to make money if you do get any of those rare armors, because that is the only way to get the Argas as well as the Sheza variants of the new armors on week one. Or you just be patient and wait for the second week, then you can farm for the Sheza versions in Kavaris and then you have to wait for the third week before you can obtain the Argas. If you're the type of person that needs the best of the best and you need everything right now and that's just how you play games, well then it's probably in your best interest to farm for a crap ton of these purple triggers right now because these purple triggers are going to go up in price significantly once people realize that hey this is the only way to get these Arga armors that I really need because I play a hybrid braver and if people are impatient well you can't wait two weeks that's way too long and you're going to either shell out the money to buy these really expensive Arga variants because they're going to be rare because well you know you people need to run the purple triggers in order to get those armors and there's going to be limited supply so you either pay the premium for the armor itself or you pay the premium for these common purple triggers because people are going to be buying all of these to run the purple battle to as much as possible because it is very, very profitable if you get any of the Argas or the Sheza armors. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome?